Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Hand Corner. We have PRG Sabbath or Sabbath. Starting as the blue Terran bottom right hand corner, or sorry, three o'clock location, we have Do Life. Starting as the red Terran, Do Life. Seen multiple times in Hasu League. I think the furthest he's gotten is the round of eight, correct? I'd have to go back. This is one of those things where I wish this was my job. So I could just sit back and be super prepared and go back and have all the stats and everything like that. That's stuff I think I would do. Like, this guy has been... Or we're seeing in the scene, but alas, that is not the case. Do life. Strong Terran player, though, has uh, stumbled here and there. And really, when we've seen him stumble, it has been TBT. I only have two replays, by the way, from this group B. Also, it says uh, BSL Season 14. This is now officially BSL 15. Group B. And I, yeah, I've, I got two replays from this entire group. So I am assuming someone will win and they'll advance, and the other person will win and they'll advance. But uh, we'll have to see when it comes to the round of eight. And this is what I mean by, like, I just, yeah, it feels like Asu League this season a bit sparse. Just feel a bit in the dark. The previous match uh, had to withdraw because of scheduling issues, making that group a little bit smaller as well. But. At least we get some fun TVT here to open things up. I'm going to favor Do Life just because I have not seen Sabbath play. And I know that Do Life is a Hustle League veteran. Barracks being built. The corner of each base. Do Life. Previously in TVT, I've seen him go for a lot of factory openings. I'm expecting him to go for more vulture play on this map. Maybe three fact vulture, because it is a rampless map. Refinery being built, and there's just wide open space in the middle, and so mines being able to cover absolutely everything are huge for just that level of vision. That natural expansion has a pretty wide dive point for the vultures to seek my and just wreak havoc. And particularly in the mid game, just having a superior amount of mines to just litter the map. be a sizable advantage. However, Sabbath getting first scout. Gonna be able to wander up. No initial marine here from Do Life. So actually gonna skip marine production. So there's the first marine, but maybe pausing on marine production to get that factory down a little bit more rapidly. Sabbath on the opposite end, skipping, does have his marine out on the front. Actually seems to have his factory down just slightly faster somehow. Maybe because he slipped, skipped a Supply Depot to make it happen? Supply Depot. So Supply Capping himself. But Supply Capping himself to go ahead and get that factory out a little bit more rapidly. Cutting Marine and SCV production. To potentially get map control. We'll see if it's an intentional play or not. SCV wiped out into life space. Two Marines on the ground. This does put Do Life in a situation where now that he's wandering up and scouting this. Gonna go ahead and see no natural expansion. Nice boxing out with those Marines. But no natural expansion confirmed. Do Life looks like he wants to go potentially just so there's the initial vulture, but potentially gonna drop his command center regardless behind this. No second, uh, no second factory yet out for PRG, and with this build order, yeah, going ahead and getting his expansion up, but he's going to end up behind a little bit in the SCV count, but that Vulture out a little bit more rapidly, but not in such a time period where, so, oh, uh, gets at least one pot shot and is able to escape, but not where he's going to end up with his superior troop count on the ground. Machine Shop plopping down for Life, second factory being built. PRG setting up to go ahead and grab his second factory. And so basically, you know, Sabbath with the build order to get that vulture out in a hurry, but really not paying out for him. Two vultures now moving forward. But it's going to be, well, let's see if this holds. Do Life actually might want to land this command center because right now there is going to be a slight troop advantage here for Sabbath. There's going to be a siege tank to follow, though. And there's, is there going to be a mine upgrade? No, speed vulture upgrade to flood this natural expansion. Testing the front, has superior troops this time. Decent focus fire. First tank out. 
this tank is sufficient to go ahead and defend. Slows down that command center. Just a smidge, and that vulture might be able to get some SCV kills. Looks like SCV's going ahead and transferring to the natural expansion. One SCV kill. Dulay still holding the overall lead. Is getting his third factory down. Sabbath with just a tap, though at least able to get scouting information. Third factory. Vulture speed now online. Vulture speed being upgraded here. But having just even this one siege tank, sizable advantage. And do life going for a counterattack. Very brave. So this is going to be one vulture and one siege tank engaging vultures at the forward location. Another, sorry, there's two siege tanks out. So just going. And these vultures might be able to just sneak by and wreak a lot of havoc. This front door is not sealed. On top of that, Sabbath sees everything. So saw those siege tanks and everything else moving out. So yeah, easily going to be able to wind these vultures in. So do life making a critical air here. The SCV is now in retreat. It's going to be vulture versus vulture and in inferior numbers. SCV is turning around attacking, able to nice kill there. Who got the kill? Did the vulture get the kill? That's a bit disappointing. But still able to get a lot of SCV kills, which is going to hurt. But now it is do life's turn to go ahead and wreak havoc. Those two siege tanks can take on the vultures pretty readily, but the SCVs getting a quick surround. Still, looks like Sabbath gonna end up with the better position overall. Still trying to drop mines. Those two siege tanks still have a ton of HP, able to wipe out those mines. More SCVs pulling off the line. And more vultures flooding forward. Do life. Now with map positioning, able to wipe out a lot of Sabbath SCVs with that follow-up. Those siege tanks so beefy. And it looks like it's going to be a quick one as the siege tank moving in. Is there a siege tank? Not even a siege tank in production. Still trying to get it done with just vultures. And do life actually up five SCVs. Now, after all these exchanges of the attack, it still has... A siege tank and vulture in position. More units streaming across to reinforce this. And do life really keeping units alive to make this happen. Just relentless attacks on both sides. Full action game. Not great saturation at the main. And now Sabbath down to 20 SCVs. So if this persists, it's just going to end up behind. Vulture diving into the main. Continuing to try to get some attacks. It looks like the vultures are going to be able to at least finally clear out the siege tank. So now three... So yeah, now we're at three factory vulture. But more vultures are streaming out for do life. Pinning Sabbath back. Sabbath might get a better engagement here. But looks like some decent focus fire. They're getting a better engagement. But with reinforcements, let's see if do life can hold back. He's going to attack on a fourth factory is now stacking some Goliaths and tanks to deal with the mid-game. And he has a 6 SCV lead after all of the action has settled. And actually going up to 5 factories. I think recognizing he's got that economic lead and just wants to seal it here. Additional machine shot being dropped. Siege tech being upgraded. And a slew of vultures... Trying to move midfield, but here's the thing with sufficient Goliaths, you can just walk straight across those minefields. As long as you're not engaging in a fight. You can kind of mine sweep. And so this is a very beefy army to take on vultures. Sabbath, his big advantage right here is just a run by threat, but he's not. You can see how quickly those units shred. Vulture AP, uh, HP, so they need to be very, very careful. Do life bullying those units back. But he's going to follow this up with a stream of units. Armory just being tacked on. This is two factories down plus the SCV deficit. You can see the mine clearing. Elias just very effective at clearing those mines. Can basically just a move across them. The vultures trying to plant some ground. 
Siege Tank is there to at least get some damage done, but it's at such a position that New Life does not care. He's just going to go ahead and walk straight up with these reinforcements. Mind sweeping his way towards the natural expansion. He's got a significant supply lead. The Vulture's not going for a run by as well. And now Sabbath. Well, at least he has Siege Tech. And positioning that way to push a lot of these units back. New Life clearing out the Vultures to the north. Mine's not getting planted. Three Siege Tanks to go ahead and push the rest of these Goliaths back. But five factories of units are going to be streaming across the map momentarily. It looks like New Life loses a tank and a Goliath. But as far as a follow-up, a lot of Goliaths and Siege Tanks moving up, and I think he's just going to have a superior troop count. It's up to positioning, however. Goliaths and Siege Tanks are not fast units, and he is going to be walking into a potential Siege Tank wall. Siege Tank still not upgraded for Dew Life. Well, let's see if he can just A-move through all of this. With the big supply lead, Goliath's getting underneath Siege Fire there. And because the troops coming in piecemeal for Sabbath, just getting wiped out one after another, the mine's completely wiped out. And Sabbath was trying to grab his third, feeling like he had some modicum of map control, but he was going up against five factories. Compsat dropped his four Siege Tanks to the north. New Life just A-moving again through these troops. Reinforcements are coming in. That command center has been halted. Single siege tank left. Reinforcements able to clean that up. But more Goliaths and more siege tanks moving forward. So do life just, yeah, walking straight in to these attack forces, not bothering to siege. Wants to get it done. With the follow-up, still a huge supply lead. Again, is just going to ignore that third, it looks like. Maybe allow reinforcements to wipe that out. Is breaching at Sabbath's natural expansion. No siege tanks are here. Five factories even things up. But now Sabbath in trouble because his natural expansion has tanks at the periphery. SCV's coming off the lines. Able to take out one siege tank there. But now backing up and just getting assailed. And Dew Life looks like he might have done it. Needs to reinforce, but has a cap, a clean cap at this natural expansion. Sabbath sieging short SCVs, trying to blockade one SCV down on top of the siege tank. Superior amounts of siege tanks in the background. Sabbath peeling back to group repair, is not able to keep that siege tank alive. And more reinforcements streaming their way across. I feel like I'm repeating myself. More reinforcements, more reinforcements. The command center finishes, but lifts off immediately to back out. More Goliaths diving forward. Three siege tanks, four siege tanks behind them. And it does not look like Sabbath has sufficient troop counts to prevent Dew Life from pushing into his natural. So Dew Life, with relentless assaults, just pile driving his way to victory, takes that game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.